Oh, you can create an action using Power Automate. Just click Add Note and call an action. When you click in this button, Power Virtual Agents will show all workflows that are available for you. And you can see Authenticate if it is available if you choose. So if you don't have actions available, you can create a workflow direct by here. Just click on the workflow and select your credentials. Automatically will show the Power Automate. Power Automate, we can do a lot of automations and a lot of workflows inside your company, inside your organization, and integrate a lot of tools like Twitter, uh, SharePoint, Slack, Office 365, OneDrive, Dropbox, and you just select and which country do you live. In Brazil, just select here, and it's okay. Promotional emails, just get the conversation. And wait for minutes. Now we have the workflow template inside the Power Virtual Agents. Is the first is the, the first uh, time that I open the Power Automate. If you use, are using the Power Automate, you just click on the call and action and automatically will be create the Power Virtual Agents flow template. And you can rename this workflow like leave request workflow and just rename this workflow. And we have two actions. The first action is to uh, input receive the parameters from uh, Power Virtual Agents. You can create, uh, we are using uh, two options, name, date, and MAU. We can create name, Add an input. We have two, three uh, available inputs like text, yes or no, boolean, and number. Just use the uh, text date and email. We have now we have the inputs inside the Power Virtual Agent inside the Power Automate. We can create outputs like response to the user using uh, the inside of your chatbot and inside my power automate i can create a new action a new step inside here and i want to uh, send an email using outlook you can uh, learn more about about power automate but now we just uh, we just using the Power Automate to send an email. Uh, just select of 365, send an email. We have send an email action. Just click here. And the Power Automate are creating a connection with uh, of 365 Outlook and select which user they will want to, to send an email. I can create, uh, I, I add a dynamic content, select and select the email, or if you don't see your verbal, you can click on see more and you select the uh, verbal. I can select the email that Power Virtual Agents are show for me and the subject leave request and select the name of the user and can add the dynamic content 
hi can add the name uh, welcome to power virtual agents integration we can add the the strong the boat remove the boat and your uh, more details more details and you can create a list here or just remove the list you can create a name name uh, email email and date date and select the date do you want to select the the email and now you can select the return value to power virtual agents using for example uh text response thanks thanks uh, using the name of the user thanks uh, we request or we requested the leave request you will receive inside your email email and select the email and just click here and you just save this workflow after save the workflow you can connect your power virtual agents with this action you just click on that call an action if you don't see your workflow just refresh the page and try again and leave request workflow if you want to see the workflow details you can click on the workflow details or just select the leave request workflow and automatically we can see the parameters that you need to put like verbal name the date and the email and we can see the outputs like response we can use the response to show a message to the user like show a message and select insert verbal and use all verbals uh, above just click response save this topic i will open my email i can open office 35 the portal credentials and open the outlook now i i'm inside the my email and now i can test my chatbot send a message to the user like hi no not only hi i will insert my chatbot and start the conversation with live request I want to leave request. When do you want? Uh, 19, 9, 10, 30, 10. Which your email? I can get my email, I don't know. Copy and paste. paste the email which your email which your name 
select the name and now I receive the message please confirm and automatically I receive the workflow is done it's it's done and receive the message the response thanks and at home we request the leave request you will receive inside your email we can see here inside the email we can see the leave request and welcome to power apps power virtual agents uh, integration more details and i can see all details here so you can integrate the power automate with Power Virtual Agents. If you if you did, uh, if you already have the workflow or don't need to create inside the Power Virtual Agents, like click and add action and create an action and create a workflow, it's one way to create a workflow inside the Power Automate. But you can create it here. Just open the solutions. All topics created, you can see inside the solutions. You can see a lot of solutions, but inside the default solution, you can see all workflows uh, that you can create uh, using the Power Virtual Agents. Like, just search, leave. Leave request workflow I can see here so if you want to create a new solution you just click here and the name of solution like leave request solution uh, select the publisher the CDS default publisher and create a new, new solution and you can select here it's important when you are using Power Automate to integrate with Power Virtual Agents, it's important to stay inside the, the solution because it's not working with outside solution. You can add existing uh, workflow from solutions and select the leave request and add this leave request workflow inside your solution. And if you want to, to create a new just click add flow and you can select the name like leave request workflow number two number two and it's important to power virtual agents and action the first action and the power virtual agents uh, our virtual agents response return value to power virtual agents and you can add your actions inside the power virtual inside the power automate between two actions here just save and this workflow will be available inside your power virtual agents just Come back and add an action, call an action, and you can see the number two leave request workflow here.